So it's like, a, it's like um, you put on your phone and put on your Wi-Fi. You will notice there are many, all right, those whose networks are hotspots are, are on. So you pick many things from the spirit realm. There are vo many voices in the atmosphere. So I'm saying all that to say that it's not every time you are actually picking from the realm of the divine or light. You're simply picking from everything available because many things are available, many channels are available right now in the spirit. So once there's a plan that is hatched or that is you know, being cooked up against your life, against your family, almost anybody who can see will see it. Is that clear? Yeah. I'm saying for that thing to enter into the next stage, there must be some partnering, especially with the one who is going to experience it. There needs to be a partnering, and the way you partner with the kingdom of darkness is fear. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. So because I know some of these things, I've had to guard my heart with all diligence, especially when negative prophecies, dreams, threats, I told you, Satan, you know, dominates the world through lying, threats. I'll finish you. You believe it, and then he finishes you. And sadly, you believe it's because it was going to happen already. That's why it happened. No, you had to partner with it. Goliath was to deal with David, and Goliath began to release words, 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 painting pictures for David to see. Right? Am I a dog? You come to me with catapult, stone. I will do this to you. I will do this to you. He began to curse him in the name of his gods. And David began to reply too, because you don't reply thoughts with thoughts. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't say, I know what I will do in my mind. No. You start talking. Start talking. He told him, I will cut off your head. I will feed you to the birds of the air. And so on and so forth. You come with me with sword, spear. I come against you. All right? The Lord of heaven's army and so on and so forth. So, take note of that as much as possible. When you pick those negative vibes, reply with words of faith and you'll be victorious. I said, I'll share something. Someone sent me a message many years ago. Truly a prophetic person whose prophetic gift had blessed me. So this person sees something about, you know, powers of darkness coming together. I've shared it here before. A big conference hall and then there were some thrones seated. About, I don't remember how many thrones now, but maybe seven thrones. And they were discussing several people in the body of Christ. And they were, there was a list that they were talking on and they were she said she saw my name was number three on the list. And they're discussing these people, you know, that they need to attack these persons. And then they all agree that if they can attack number three, it will impact on the rest of them and all of that. So very graphic meeting. Sounds graphic, right? Yes, sounds very graphic. And then mentioned that they were discussing some dates of when I'm going to travel. And then poured their heart sincerely and said, sir, please avoid the following dates. Mention some days, the month of, and then mention, you know, just avoid traveling. What will you do as a normal person that receives that kind of prophetic message? Sincerely, what will you do? I'm not hearing you. You avoid the dates, right? You don't like what you hate. You don't want problem in your life. It's just dates, right? Just rest a little. Let me just know the days I will be resting and just avoid problem. But I knew that it's not just today that he's fighting. He's fighting tomorrow. He will start small. Now he's telling me to avoid four dates. Tomorrow. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, understand your enemy. Understand your enemy, yo. He won't come looking for big first. He's small. Because he has a foothold. I don't like anything that looks like Satan is more powerful. So I took note of those dates because those are the days if I was not traveling before. 
is on those days I'm going to travel. And so I gave a reply. I said, I have a couple of problems with this encounter. I said, number one, you said it was a large hall and few thrones. So it means that it was not a well attended meeting. See, what you saw is not really as important as how you interpret it. Ha. Ah, Say you heard what I said, though. Hmm. All of us can eat in the dream. All of us complete. 70% of us will go on seven days marathon to purge what you ate. And then some 30% of us will be excited because they've given you strength for the 700 hours. Ah! You are not even happy because it was one course meal they gave you instead of three course meals. Eh? No appetizer, no dessert. Is that all you have to offer? Two sets of persons. And guess what? As your heart is seeing it, that's what your experience will be. Oh my God. The spirit realm needs your partnership. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. You, need to, you need to agree with them. So that was the first reply. Second reply, I said, um, and then you said there was a list. He said, yes. I said, um, and I was number three on the list. He said, yes. <sighs> I said, after all my labels, I'm still number three. Reach me back when I'm the only reason they are meeting. <sighs> so there are many other people to talk about. Of course, the answer shocked. It wasn't because I was discrediting. The Bible says, despise not prophet science, right? No, it's not because I was discrediting it, but I understood. Like Paul was you know, speaking to this man who came, and uh, what's his name again? Agabus. Came and bound himself. Prophetic can be very dramatic sometimes. What you would just say, say, please give me rope. And they gave him rope. He tied his hand. Let me tie my leg. He tied his leg. And was on the floor. Okay, say what you want to say. I said, no. I want you to see what the Lord is saying. So they tied him and began to prophesy that the man that is going now to Jerusalem, this is how they are going to tie him hand and foot. And once the prophetic is dramatic like that, usually everybody will feel it. So guess what happened? Everybody started crying. Hey, hey, Paul, don't go. Don't go. But they didn't understand that that is just a realm of sight. Understanding, there are many things that are deeper than the prophetic. The way you understand that thing you saw is more important than just seeing. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. I, won't, I won't push that further. So Paul was not afraid because he understood the behind the scenes. This is my calling to suffer. You have come to tell me my calling that I will suffer. I should not be afraid of what they have told me from the beginning of my journey. That follow come, I shall be suffering. That's what they literally tell him. He said, they come and they tell me from place to place the things I will suffer for his sake. He opened his mouth and said, I'm filling up that which is remaining in Christ's suffering. Paul used his mouth to say that. It means if there's anything that we go through this life, it is suffering. You have come to announce to me that I will suffer. I should start crying. That's why it's important for you to know your book. So nobody is shocking you with your own book. How can you be reading my book for me? I'll never forget a man who came and ministered in church and said, God told him. You still remember? <laughs> and I was crying. Okay, let me share it for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. He came and ministered in church and during our convention, I said, where's that young boy in the choir? Come out. I came out. I said, ah. Hmm? Album. <laughs> Album. You release a song. You release a song. 
And they will play it in London. They will play it in London. And people were excited. So I was crying. Crying because I could not believe that can, that's my destiny. Destiny. Song. Release it. And they play it in London. That's why I'm charging like this. That's why I'm hungry for God. So they can play my song in London. Destiny, my mother has already fulfilled. I don't even need to go to London for it to be fulfilled. I just need to release it, give someone that's traveling. When it gets there, she put inside a car and play it. That, that, that's how it was in my head. Like, that's why I was born. But that's what is enough to get people to be excited. Yeah. Of course, while I was still crying, he didn't know why I was crying. He now called on my people were like, ah, he's a twin, he's a twin, he's a twin. He's a, ah, he's a twin? Where is he, brother? He came from the back. Wow. The leader of leaders. I did have a problem with my brother being leader of leaders. But as a twin, you know, there's this, this, um, it just, it's just a way you just, at least, what is for me too? Eh? As you are blessing him, bless me too. The distance was too much. <laughs> leader of leaders. Release our bomb. No, 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 no. You can't blame me. Just give me something too. No problem. It can be anything he wants to be, but at least it cannot be song. Our bomb. I cried the more. The man was not understanding what was happening there. Lord, is this all? Ah, no, no, that thing messed me up, bro. All day, my hunger finished. You see that prophecy is an invitation to hunger, right? Yeah. So the person who is prophesying to you, depending on the depth, his largeness of heart, and so on and so forth, he can't receive more than certain... Uh, and this consciousness I had that he was basically trying to deflate was not from people talking to me and telling me what God will do. It was from imagination. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Internal invitations. So please don't forget that. I wanted to just mention that. I think I've thought on this on consciousness. I don't know which of the teachings, but please take note, all right? As people are speaking to you, it should be confirming just little bits and pieces of things God has already shown you. If God showed me the whole world, and then you now mention Russia, I should not be, oh, why? 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 I pray for your heart's capacity to receive in Jesus' name. What's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to? I bet it's fear. Fear that whispers, you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. But what if I told you, God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you. And it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me, give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. 
Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up, even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's Word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily, remind yourself of God's truth, and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number 3. Take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together. Thank you for watching. This video was created by Aledu Inalegu Emmanuel. Emmanuel is a content creator, a video editor, and a social media manager. To connect with him, send a DM now. God bless you.